Good morning, and welcome to our morning devotion. I'm Pastor Tamara, and we have been talking about spiritual pathways here in the morning devotions. I want to talk to you today about the spiritual pathway of worship. Growing up in my home, my mom played the piano, and it was very common on Friday evenings to gather around the piano and sing together as a family. I have beautiful memories of doing that with my family and hearing my mom, my dad's voice um, joined together is one of the happiest memories from my childhood. My best friend's family had a, um, a professional singing group and to hear them sing, that's also one of the heartbeats of my childhood. As I grew up, um, praise music became you know close to my heart and I loved it I loved it loud I loved it um, where I could raise my hands and I could praise God and I could learn about him and feel close to him in those moments as a mom sometimes you're not able to sit and listen to a sermon but as you're playing with those kids and as you're um, busy in your day, you're still able to press play on your stereo in your car and listen to God. Um, you worship him in this way that feels close to your heart, that is so accessible to so many of us. We have you know, Alexa in our kitchen. We can press play on that and listen to that beautiful music that honors and worships God just wash over us. This last week we met in person for the first time in a long time in our church. And while we still couldn't sing out loud, we felt close to God. If this was your spiritual pathway, just by being in the same place with other people who loved God in this way, to hear the organ, to hear the praise band in person meant a lot to some of us to be able to be in God's presence in that place of worship. Now, if yours, your pathway to feeling close to God is that pathway of worship, you are going to feel closest to Him when you're involved in worship. You are going to feel energized and moved, nourished in deep ways, whether that is your private worship or whether you're in corporate worship, when you're praising God. Psalm 63 is a psalm that David wrote when he was in the midst of one of the hardest times in his life. His own son had turned against him. He was running once again. And he felt alone and that life was over. And yet he praised God in the midst of it. The song, you've probably heard it before, is Psalms, based on Psalm 63. And David Stasser adapted a part of this psalm when he wrote the song step by step. You know the song, it's, Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. It's a song that is based on this psalm that David wrote thousands of years ago. Because worshiping God has always been a pathway to feeling close to him, to feeling that he is there in our every day. It helps us to feel happy and refreshed and energized in our faith. And I invite you to spend some time today, just turn on your favorite song, whether that is organ music playing Amazing Grace, or it is one of the latest songs on CHRI, turn it up listen to the music feel god's presence close to you and worship him come before him and experience him in worship i pray that you have a wonderful day today thank you for joining us god bless you